Win Win 20% off Black Friday sale, November 21 through 28th. Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. It's November 2021 and we've had several changes in the HUD or the VTH of the Mirage 2000 to reflect closer with reality. Let's go through the list. First, full vector refresh. As you can see, the graphics of the symbology is a little different to how it was before. New BAH and BA2 elevation and azimuth symbology. Master arm on, gun select, Weapon System Command Aft. We can now see the dotted line symbology of the horizontal scan mode, which we can slew up and down. Air-to-air -air intercept ring flashes when target is notching or at gimbal limit. The target is now notching, flashing circle. Air-to-air -air ring doubled with missile maximum range. Approaching R max, when we reach R max, air-to-air -air ring doubles. Breakaway slash no shoot cross displayed below missile min range and fixed breakaway cross conditions. Hostile is approaching our min. Breakaway queue. Positioned all elements based on real life footage. So the positions of symbology have changed slightly based on the real footage. I'll show the next eight elements in one clip. We're in a gunfight now. The hostile is ahead of us about 0.7 nautical miles and we have our target designator box around him. Here is our new gun snake, relatively similar to the old one. We now have a first section that is dashed. It consists of up to eight segments. In this particular scenario, we've only got one, two, three, four, five, six that are easily viewable, but it is actually made up of eight segments. This is our new range scale here. It shows the projected range of the target here, strangely, in hundreds of meters, currently 1,000 meters from us. The gun snake itself has now changed to be more accurate. At current parameters, the range from us to the target is shown by this guy here in hundreds of meters, although it's actually a predicted five seconds in the future. Running down the gun snake are shell markers. You can see one here and one here. They will run from the gun cross down the gun snake and disappear at the bottom. Also, if I were to press the first stage of the trigger, I would see a projected ripple of fire. Again, you can see and run down the gun snake in real time. Finally, a new shoot cue when this switch is in the down position. And we're in a position where the WCS predicts we're going to get a hit. We'll get a inner designated box here, or if it were a diamond, an inner designated diamond. You can see there. That's our shoot cue. Added dashed out of field of view triangle. If the designator square or triangle goes outside of the view of the HUD, we get a retaining dashed director. Added jamming locked contact symbols. Here we have a target locked that is jamming. Super 530D time of flight displayed in the magic slash cannon option when missile is in flight. Approaching R max now. Firing the weapon. Switching to guns. You can now see the time of flight of the missile that we're supporting, even though we're in gun mode. Acceleration chevrons range are now more accurate. And of course, we're referring to these acceleration chevrons here. That's the roundup of the change to the VTH. I hope that was useful and see you later.